Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the West, more specifically Las Vegas, Nevada. And we are here on Fremont Street. It's actually daytime here on Fremont. It's actually raining. We have a little bit of a, of a rainstorm happening. I figured we'd come out here and explore Vegas during the day. Yeah, we've got a little unseasonable rain happening. Yeah, you can see Fremont Street, of course, covered in this LED screen. You see the planes flying over us. But uh, I, I guess there's holes in the screen because there's rain coming right through. So it must be like a grid. So it's actually raining here on Fremont Street. Actually, rain's picking up a little bit right now. I think we're going to go to try to find something to eat to, uh, to get out of the raid. Yeah, it's absolutely pouring here in Vegas. I've never, uh, never, never seen this, this torrential downpour here. All right, how are you doing in the rain here, Pennywise? I should be in the sewer so I don't get all wet. But subscribe to the carpet bagger. Oh, Pennywise here. That's <laughs> my name. Very creepy. Uh, we all float out here. Off, and you'll float too. And how are you doing, Chucky? Is this rain good for business or bad for bad for the killing people business? Man, is it rain like this? Oh my god, this is absolutely insane. Are right, you been killing people with a hammer? See a little bit of a little bit of blood on there. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I can hardly believe this. You can actually see it looks like there's actually like a river going down the center of Freebot here. This seems like unnatural. Yeah, this is crazy. Crazy. See the screen up there? Okay, actually it looks like the rain may be lightening up just a little bit. Some people are uh, daring to uh, actually cross the street here. Yeah, this is wild. Oh, you go and Jim, we're gonna brave the crossing here. Watch out, don't walk under that sign right here versus Fabulous Las Vegas because there's there's rain pouring down from the sign. You're running out of the uh, the light bulbs. It's stuck into... I still got it. Not you got wet. Got oh, no. <laughs> Get in the, uh, the duck into this store here. Soltar, you got to tell us, is this rain, uh, is this rain ever going to let up here in Las Vegas? Are you ready? For Zoltar the wise gypsy has prepared a little poem just for you. A little poem? Life is mostly froth and bubble. Two things stand alone. Kindness in another's trouble. Courage in your own. Do not worry, little one. You are not in trouble, but have courage today in your adventures. And come back to visit Zoltar for more wisdom. I feel like Zoltar, I almost feel like there's been like some new Zoltar like uh Fortunes. I feel like I've been getting some fortunes I've not gotten before. Or I guess that was technically a, a technically a poem. You see these poker chip souvenirs. These are actually interesting. I just didn't realize they're magnets, so you can like make creative sculptures. You can make it look like it's all like like yeah, you're, you're like gambling all night. You got these piles of chips that are like all uneven. Like, oh my gosh, I mortgaged my house and I'm losing all my money. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do with all these chips? Some keychains here, including this slot machine keychain, so you can, you, you never have to stop gambling. You can just gamble <laughs> all day long. See, did I win anything? See, I was actually like playing with the real slot machines. There, I think that's a winner, and I couldn't figure out like how it works. Like, I couldn't figure out like how you line it up and how you win. Like, it was complete mystery to me. Another reason I don't like playing uh, slot machines. All right, looks like the rain's clearing up a little bit. We got some uh, some of these business kiosks reopening. So you can buy the the giant uh, beads over here. You can get a uh, a necklace with a uh, annoying rubber chicken on it. Oh no, that one's not honking. Oh, look at this fried chicken here. Something really like dark about him being all breaded and fried. Is that a punk rock chicken and a Santa, Santa chicken there? Yeah, I guess these big, uh, big chains probably seem like a really good idea if you had a few uh, beverages in your body. 
and uh, oh yeah, look at these big medallions here. You want to hang around your neck. I think these, what are these, like sports teams? Oh, you can see there's uh, water there on top of the screen as well. We got a projection of a pool here, and I did notice you do have these these signs here. This is a uh, surface slippery when wet. I guess when it rains, it's a little slick out here on Fremont Street. Down on the corner, we have this miner here with the uh, pan of gold. You can see the gold nuggets flashing there in his uh, in his pan. Some neon gold nuggets. Of course, here at the end of the Fremont Experience, which is the covered section of Fremont Street, you have the world's largest slot machine there, which is actually uh, where they launch zip lines from. I don't think anyone's zip lining right now in the rain. They launch on those cords there and go all the way down Fremont Street. Yeah, looking for something to eat over here. Of course, there's always the uh, Heart Attack Grill. Actually ate there a few years back. It's actually really good. Uh, it was kind of themed after unhealthiness, like a like almost like a medical theme inside. Uh, but actually, if you are over 350 pounds, you can eat for free. So I guess if I can eat for free over here, I might as well might as well go for it. Might as well uh, make this our lunch choice. So you can weigh yourself right here on the street. Let's step on the scale and see if I am over. 350 pounds. Oh, there we go, there we go. Two, two, 223. I think 220, oh, there, I guess a solid 223 at the, uh, at the current moment. Yeah, we can take a peek here inside of the uh, heart attack grill. See people eating in hospital gowns. You can see, uh, actually the menu right here. You can actually get a octuple bypass. All the different burgers are a single bypass. Is a single burger. An octuple bypass is a uh, is eight patties, and then for seven dollars and sixty cents, you can add forty slices of bacon. See that neon horse, that neon cowboy there, crossing the street here, entering Fremont East which I guess is the, the other part of Fremont Street. The covered part's called the uh, Fremont Experience, and uh, here is uh, Fremont East. I think this is what we are gonna, gonna go with here for our lunch. This is Evil Pie, Evil Pie, an Evil Knievel themed pizza restaurant. We're at Evil Knievel, the, uh, the stunt motorcyclist here. And uh, for some reason there is a pizza restaurant themed after uh, Mr. Evil Knievel. So yeah, let's check. Let's check this out. See, they have all sorts of evil Knievel memorabilia on the wall over at the bar here. If there's a shrine to evil up there, all the different trophies, as well as a painting of Mr. Knievel. One of his uh, motorcycles there dangling above the diners. So here is the menu. It says live hard, ride fast, eat pizza. You can either get a whole pizza or you can just get a slice. Now, I have not had pizza in months. I've been trying not to eat as many carbs. So uh, it'll, be a, it'll be fun so you know what pizza tastes like after it's been a, been a few months. Uh, eat it. I don't know, I'm interested in maybe goblin sausage. That sounds interesting. I don't know what goblins have to do with Evil Knievel, but uh, it's Evil's tomato sauce, mozzarella, pepperoni, ham, Italian sausage, and bacon. Where's, where's the goblins come in? If you look over here, you can see actually have all the pizzas on display. So you kind of visually get an idea of what it is you're going to be eating. This is balls to the wall. You've got melted mozzarella, slices of, uh, looks like meatball on there. That actually looks really good. Here's the goblin sausage. They're just absolutely covered in meat. You can see the little little goblin there on the sign. And uh, Maui Wowie that's got pineapple and jalapeno on it. Oh, they all look pretty good. Huh? I think we're gonna, we're gonna get a couple slices. All right, so I ended up getting two slices. First had to go with the goblin pizza, just because I love goblins in general. Just looks like I have a little bit of all the different meats. 
And then I went to the, the balls to the wall. The balls are referring to our meatballs. There's slices of meatballs. There's some grilled onions on there and ricotta and mozzarella cheese. And Jen, what exciting... Uh, I was gonna say, yours look better than mine. You got, I was boring, it just got pepperoni. You got pepperoni? Yeah, yours look a lot better than mine. <laughs> why, didn't, why didn't you get one of the crazy pizzas? I don't know, I usually just order pepperoni. I don't really think about the other ones. I'm just like the pop pepperoni. <laughs> Oh man, you can hear the lightning crashing outside. This is a, this is the wildest day in Vegas I've ever had. But there we go. This is the uh, the goblin the goblin slice there. The goblin sausage, I think they called it. So I'll be giving this a try again. I've not had pizza in months. It's been trying to do a real low carb diet, but it's, you know it's okay every once in a while to to just step outside that as long as it doesn't become like an everyday regular thing. It's okay to have a slice of Evil Knievel pizza on a special occasion. Mm, very good. Mm. Maybe I just forgot how good pizza was, but yeah, I got the, the crispy bacon on that. Mm. Okay. Try this ball to the wall as well. That sliced meatballs with the homemade meatball there. Mmm. Mmm. That meatball is really good. I think I like this one a little, a little bit better. That meatball is, is so yummy. Mmm. That's a good pizza. And how was your uh I've been tearing off pieces to try to cool it off. I don't know how you eat stuff that's so hot. So you tear it into tiny pieces so the pieces cool faster? There's more surface area. I think it works. Is it delicious? It's very good. Very good. You like it? I'm burning my fingers currently. Look, it's just, it's so hot. So are you eating the pizza or are you just tearing it at this point? Um, <laughs> I had two pieces that I tore. People are going to be like, what is this? Why is she tearing pizza? <laughs> it mutilates her food to let it, let it cool. So I can eat it faster, I guess. Is that good? All right, so I ate both slices of pizza. Not able to finish off the crust here. So I said, I've, I've not eaten pizza in a couple months. Not eaten really any bread, uh, or a lot of bread in the past couple months, trying to, to do the low carb uh, thing. And man, I am so full after not eating uh, carbs for so long. Really really filled me up and uh yeah normally i'd probably eat a little more or more than two slices of pizza but this is more more than enough and really good pizza i really like this style. it's kind of a new york style and a flat with a really like really uh hard crust not like hard crusty but like you know like that new york style like uh you know, almost crispy crunchy slightly uh crust there Really, really good. Definitely a definitely a decent slice of pizza. Again, I don't know. I haven't had pizza in a long time, so maybe it just tastes better by that virtue. But still, pretty good. What's that? This is my crust. I, I added it to the, to the crust pile. Oh, don't you eat your crust? You're full. So the rain has lightened up a little bit. You can see the water pouring out of the drains there. See the streets over here. Pretty flooded. Looks like the cars can still pass through though. Walking down this way, away from the Fremont Street experience, you can see some of the uh, some of the older neon, some of the older buildings, hotels and casinos. That Vegas sign there, you can see some of the older neon that has been preserved here along Fremont Street. Got some very interesting uh, Neon signs here. The woman there with the stars. Oh, I just noticed down here the uh, the street lights are off. Looks like they're having a uh, a power outage. I don't know if this is just down here. The uh, the power was on at uh, Evil Pie, but uh, down here the street lights are uh, are not currently on. That makes things a little a little dangerous. Over here we have the Mantis. Now this actually uh, spews flames. I think maybe maybe at night 
but uh, I don't know the power the power's out so maybe he's not spewing flames right now you can see the giant mantis there built on the back of this truck that's pretty amazing some fun facts about the mantis it was created by aerospace engineer Kirk Jellum in 2010 see the flames can reach six stories high and uh, apparently the mantis can speak over 20 languages I didn't even I didn't even know he knew how to talk what a crazy mantis his heart here is covered in love locks often I've seen these on bridges where there'll be locks people put the names of uh, themselves and their uh, lover and uh, add them to bridges here we see all these different locks all attached together on this giant heart so you got these like like hearts these metal hearts people have written things on and locked them all together there well that's pretty heavy a lot of bridges they do remove them because I guess it makes the bridges too heavy but still it's a it's a, it's a lot of fun and here's a heart specifically designed for people to leave love locks on it's like the sun is uh, shining once again on Vegas here is container park it's a uh, group of shops actually made out of old like cargo uh, containers like this one unfortunately the power is still out over here so uh, I guess that limits what we can uh, check out in this area. Look at this, even Zoltar. Even Zoltar has, uh, has no power. Sorry Zoltar, I'd give you some cash, but uh, you, uh, you, are, you are disabled currently. There's a pin shop here called House of a Thousand Pins. Sadly, the great elevator ride is uh, down because of the powers. It won't be able to take a spectacular journey to the second and third floor. It's a children's play area here in the middle made out of uh, shipping containers. Big shipping container tower right there. Take the bridge there over to this other shipping container tower. It's a lot of fun. You can see they're all stacked shipping containers there. Elevator there is a shipping container standing on its end. It's that giant light up shoe there in front of the venue. The Western Hotel here. Apparently, their motto is home is where you trust the toilet seat. I don't know, can you trust the toilet seat at the Western Hotel? I don't know. Well, what, what reason would you have to not trust a toilet seat? You're afraid there may be uh, maybe diseases lurking on a toilet seat. Is there is there any diseases you can get from a toilet seat? If so, uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Okay, so apparently the Western Hotel is abandoned. So I definitely uh, definitely wouldn't trust the toilet seat in an abandoned building giant fire hydrant there you can see how giant it is Look how tiny that pigeon is compared to the giant fire hydrant there and I know there's a little little yellow dog across the street eyeing this uh, giant fire hydrant there's an interesting hotel sign here uh, most interesting is the fact that it does not look like there is actually a hotel it looks like the hotel is now a parking lot they do have the big beautiful uh, neon sign there in the parking lot here you have a uh, mural of a llama which is interesting but I just noticed if you look at the motel sign it actually says llamas stay for free and you see the little neon llama there as well on the sign according to the sign the best safe word is meatloaf it means I would do anything for love, but I won't do that. The other side here is talking about the crazy egg prices. So I guess uh, this hotel was abandoned uh, a few months ago <laughs> when egg prices were uh, were really 
insane. But yeah, there is a llama theme here. I'm, I'm wondering that this part, there's this like a llama themed parking lot with an old, uh, old vintage hotel sign. Got some more llama murals down here. Oh yeah, look at that. There's a llama. And I just noticed on these light poles, there's there's mannequins crawling up the poles here at the uh, llama llama hotel. Look at that. Yeah, they're skittering up those light poles. If you look over there in the distance, we have a rainbow after our uh, after our big rainstorm here in uh, in Vegas. There's Atomic Liquor and Cocktails. Of course, once upon a time here in Las Vegas, they used to test uh, nuclear weapons outside of the city and actually use it as an advertising draw. There was postcards uh, advertising the fact that you could look out your hotel window and see mushroom clouds out in the desert. Here is a Golden Goose here. The uh, Golden Goose, I guess, was the mascot for a uh, casino, the Golden Goose Casino from the uh, 1970s. Now it's, it's uh, restored here. See, so sitting on its flashing golden eggs and holding one of its eggs aloft. Yeah, I do think it's pretty amazing how they've preserved these old uh, motel signs instead of uh, sending them to the landfill. And you look closely, you can see this, this recurring theme. There is a uh, there is a uh, person crawling up that sign there, skittering up the pole. And here we have a uh, famous and spectacular sculpture here, the Big Rig Jig, as it's known to uh, oil tankers embraced in a dance. Yeah, the big rig jig, an art installation by an artist by the name of Mike Ross. And uh, this was not the first location for the, uh, the big rig jig. It has been in several locations. But originally, you're actually able to climb inside of it. It was an interactive sculpture. I do not think you can climb in it any longer. Originally, you were supposed to be able to climb in the truck climb around up inside there and into the uh, second truck up there so you can't you can't climb around it anymore but it's still a uh, still a magnificent sculpture now one thing that really fascinates me about the uh, big rig jig is that this was actually part of Banksy's dismal land over in uh, in England Banksy had created a, a pop-up amusement park that was a parody or a critique of uh, other amusement parks. It looked, it built, it built, it looked like Disneyland. They had uh, twisted versions of Disney characters and Disney situations. They had, the, if you went into the castle, you could actually see a crashed pumpkin carriage where Cinderella had crashed, similar to. Uh, Princess Di while, uh, while paparazzi took photos of her and there's other things around the park. There was a, like like Shamu jumping out of a toilet. Let's think that were like like very dark, ver the darkest possible version of an amusement park. But uh, it actually did feature this sculpture here, the big rig jig. Yeah, look at these really cool cactuses along the side here of the old hotel. Looks like this has turned into uh, into several businesses, non-hotel businesses. Another hotel here along Fremont Street. And then we can see there the other, <laughs> another one of those crawling figures. Kind of uh, kind of spooky seeing the, the figures crawl up there, but I love it. I love how they've turned these old ho hotels into individual art pieces another hotel here 
It's one called the Lucky Motel. Although there's no mysterious figures trying to climb their sign. Yeah, wandering down these streets down here, almost like wandering through like the forgotten original Las Vegas here. Yeah, I remember when uh, when I first got interested in like taking photos in, in still photography, which eventually led to the creation of this channel. I was really fascinated. Neon signs were one of my favorite things to uh, to photograph. And I couldn't afford to come out here to Las Vegas. I'd never been out here. So a lot of times it was uh, Cherokee, North Carolina. I, I love the old hotel signs out there. I love going over there, taking pictures of the old rusty neon. So uh, yeah, so neon signs have a special place in my heart. In some ways, yeah, I don't know. Oh, police are going somewhere important. But uh, yeah, in some ways that like, that really, really fueled my interest in photography, which of course, would lead into me eventually making videos and creating uh, this YouTube channel. Yeah, the old days of of neon signs is really something special. You know, just the, the, the individual artistry that went into each unique hotel sign. It's just, you know, thing, 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 things tend to be for better or worse pretty cookie cutter these days. You'll see the same signs in, uh, in every city, but man, they, they really knew how to make some place seem, uh, seem special back then. The Peter Pan motel here look at that sign you got peter pan on the top unfortunately the uh motel itself could not stay young forever that's completely gone but we do have the uh the wonderful sign to still enjoy lost gables court peek in the uh peek in the fence here that's interesting so they have interesting designs there on the doors. I guess the doors have been boarded up, but then it's like someone like painted an artificial door over the boarded doors. You can see in the the window there there's some sort of some sort of tiger man and uh so over here appears to be some sort of half man half camel. Heading back the way I came, I do realize the uh, the street lights are back on, so that's good news. Bunkhouse saloon. You see a little cowboy with his uh, mug of beer and his sack of money. Over the front, we've got these creatures here. According to that sign, these are the. Uh, Depressed monsters. I guess all three of these monsters are very depressed. This one's seeing no evil. This one hearing no evil. That one's speaking no evil. Oh, look at this. The uh, stoplights are still out over here in this section of Fremont Street. All right, there was just an explosion right there. The power came on just briefly, and then there was a big smoky explosion coming from that uh, power pole right there. That, that wasn't good. Oh, there it goes again. That's bad. I don't know what that is. That's not supposed to happen. What was that? It was like the uh, the top of the power pole exploded twice. There was like big poofs of smoke. It's pretty, I like, actually, I just wondered over here and I noticed the powers, the power's back on now. There's another explosion. Oh my gosh. But I guess the power, did the power come back on? No, the power's out, still down there on those lights. Oh, it just went out again, okay. This was, this was, this power was on just a second ago. There was a third explosion and then the power went out. What? Yeah, I'm not an electrician. I don't know what exactly is going on here. I'm actually wondering back over here to the, uh, to the Fremont experience. It does look like the power is on over here. I don't know if it's on a, if they have their own source of power, it's on a different set of power, if they have generators, I don't know. Oh wait, the stoplights are out. I'm getting confused here, okay. So the stoplights are out. I can see the lights on there, the stoplights down there are on. You see those ones are on, those ones 
are out. It's chaos, chaos down here. I guess we're gonna head back into the uh, Fremont Street experience over here. Power's definitely on over here. It's that giant LED screen over uh, over the street. All right, I talked to Jen on the phone. She wanted me to meet her back over by the uh, souvenir shop. So Jen told me to meet her over here. There's something there's something that she's always wanted to do. And it's true. And it's on Fremont. Oh my gosh. I know, really. <laughs> you want you you want to do it? Yes. You want to get your feet eaten by yes, fish? I want my flesh eaten by an animal. All right, well let's uh, let's do this. I'm excited. Oh my gosh, you can see how eager they are. They can see her feet. And they're, they're they're ready. They're ready to dig in. Apparently they're they're worried that Jen's feet are so dirty that they'll they'll poison the fish. They gotta clean gotta clean her feet off first. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at them. Oh my gosh. Does it hurt? No, it feels weird. You feel their teeth? No, they feel like little tickly. No, there's no teeth. <laughs> like little bubbles. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Careful, careful, don't step on them. They look they like your one foot better. Which one? Uh your right foot. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's that's horrifying. Do you like it? I do. Why? I don't know. I've always wanted it. It's tickly. Oh my god, there's so many. I know, they're just devouring you. Why is this something that exists? I guess it's a weirder question why I've always wanted to do this. I dare you to, dare you to stick your face in that tank. I'm already soaked from the rain. I feel like it wouldn't be that. Oh, well, then I hit things biting me. I forgot about the eating part. Did they eat my eyeballs? If you could keep your eyelids open, I bet they would. <laughs> yeah, look at them. Look at them. Still going to town there. Look over here. We got another Chucky. How are you doing, Chucky? Oh, Chucky! Oh, that's not very, that's not very nice, Chucky. You're going gonna, gonna, gonna to stab me there? Give me a little, little poke of the knife. Ah, yeah, yeah, you're you're mean. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. I don't, I don't need to be treated. I don't need to be treated like this. <laughs> yeah, you see down here the the uh, LED screen on the top always changing. Currently, we got some sort of space battle going on over our heads. Yeah, learn today. This uh, the LED screen up here not waterproof. It will rain through it. It'll protect you from the sun, but not the rain. So this little section over here where the. Uh, Las Vegas Denny's is. This is called Neonopolis. A little uh, little shopping area in here with some attractions. Hop on this uh, escalator here. Looks like they have the Cat's Meow here, which is a famous uh, karaoke bar in uh, New Orleans. Oh yeah, you can see the neon there on the ceiling. Now looking down on here, we actually have some old vintage neon in this plaza. There's pole parrot juvenile shoes. There's a uh, bar over here known simply as the nerd, you can see this uh, nerdy octopus over here. I guess we follow, follow his tentacles to the nerd. Okay, it looks like it's a bowling alley. I have some bowling in there. And here are the end of his tentacles where he's holding a bunch of nerdy things. A mushroom from, from Mario. There's a Captain America's shield. He's got, he's got Baby Yoda and uh, and a PBR. So we got a Millennium Falcon there over top the bar. And then over here, you can sit next to uh, Jabba the Hutt with his uh, his best friend here, Mr. Jar Jar 
Mr. Jar Jar Binks, Jabba and Jar Jar, best of friends. And then look at that, it's one of the Mars Attacks aliens. I think this is actually the, uh, the new Spirit Halloween prop from this year. I'd have a seat in the Iron Throne, but sadly it's, uh, it's uh, reserved. The drink menu here, and they actually have some nerdy themed drinks. There's Jonestown cocktail. Well, that's a that's not a <laughs> the Jonestown Kool-Aid cocktail. That's a not nerdy as much as it's just really really dark. <laughs> and then uh, we've got a Baby Yoda drink there. The Wonka drink. Optimus Prime using Logan Paul's Prime and uh, yeah, Compound V from the boys. The Kirby drink and a. A wrestling themed drink, the Sabu's Arabian Face Buster Cocktail. What'd you get there, Jen? Baby Yoda, but he has no eyes. Well, he has the ears, that's the that's the important part. What, what does Baby Yoda taste like? Sprite. Tastes like Sprite? It's good. So maybe I'm a little twisted, but I figured I had to try the Jonestown Kool-Aid Cocktail. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's not, uh, got the spe special uh, Jim Jones uh, ingredient in there. And this is actually Kool-Aid. Fun fact, the original Jonestown Kool-Aid was not Kool-Aid, it was Flavor-Aid. Got a big actually there. But uh, look at this, it actually has one of those old uh, plastic Kool-Aid squeezers from like the 80s and 90s. That's pretty amazing, I didn't even know they had those anymore. All right, let's try our, our Kool-Aid there. Oh, very nice. Very, brings me back to my childhood of drinking Kool-Aid. By the way, don't I, 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 I've seen you don't you don't pull these out. I've seen drinks sometimes they're they're, they're like served with an upside down beer in them or something like that. And the biggest mistake you can make is pull it out because that will create a giant mess that will start to spill. You have to you have to obey the laws of physics and leave that in there. Looks like there's some consoles here to uh to play video games. And uh, over here, behind the bar, that's, uh, that's the OG Deadpool and uh, Leonardo. Oh, and there's a Porg. Over here in this arcade area, we have a uh, skeleton here, a super spooky skeleton. He's covered with like photo strips from like a, uh, a photo booth machine. Okay, and for some reason, in the back here, there's an actual octagon. I guess they have uh, MMA fights in here. Wow, that's that sounds fun. You want to fight? You want to you want to get in the octagon? I watch you say I can do it. You you watched enough where you think you can tap me out? Yeah. And down here by the claw machines, there's a half horse, half couch, or as a it's often known a a how a houch a or a house a house a house is that what we call it a house when a horse and a couch are the same thing a house it's like a little barbie area back in here you enjoying the barbie lounge okay. got a couple of like couple of dream houses in here well you know it was called a dream house i i had a little sister oh, that's right. <laughs> nerf master the bowling alley over here. Look at this, they just have uh, some games set up. This is a, a PlayStation 1. Uh, looks like it's running Twisted Metal. I think they actually just came out with a Twisted Metal TV show. I haven't played this in a very, very long time. So I am, I picked Sweet Tooth. He's the, he's the clown that drives an ice cream truck. I don't remember how to play this. Let's see, do I have a weapon? Who am I fighting? Oh my god. I remember when I first saw this, I thought it was the best graphics I'd ever seen. Now it does not look like the best graphics I've ever seen. And I don't know how to play. Oh no! Someone's shooting me. And I don't I don't even know how to shoot. Oh my goodness. What's even happening here? My crazy guy. This guy's murdering me. There's a claw machine over here. It's like you can pick up wrestling figures and, and Funkos. I don't know if that claw, I don't know if that claw looks strong enough to pick any up, pick up any of that stuff. 
Oh wow, it's actually twenty dollars to play. So uh, I don't know. Maybe the claw will pick that stuff up if they're charging twenty dollars. I mean, those Funkos are probably worth uh, probably worth about twenty dollars or even maybe a little less. So yes. hopefully less. Say less. So <laughs> I guess if you play that, if you play that that twenty, you better hope you grab something. This memorabilia case here has uh, several uh, autographed uh, Rey Mysterio masks. Also have a Bob Backlund for Congress sign, signed by Bob Backlund. And then uh, this is the mask that uh, Brutus the Barber Beefcake wore at uh, WrestleMania when he teamed with Hulk Hogan. There's Sabu, uh, one of Sabu's spikes they would use to uh, stab people in the head. Oh, here's the nefarious Walter White, AKA Heisenberg there. It actually says that these license plates at his feet were actually used in the show Breaking Bad, so a bit of Breaking Bad history here in uh, Las Vegas. And there is a uh, a chapel over here, a little neon chapel. You know, a lot of people come and get married on the spur of the moment in Vegas. But here they do pretend weddings starting at uh, at uh, forty nine dollars. Is that just they just you just have a wedding? It's not legally binding. Is I guess that's good. Then then maybe you know. If you change your mind when you get back home, you don't have to follow through with it. But uh, yeah, it includes Elvis. I guess you get married by Elvis. I actually heard that they were cracking down. Elvis' estate was trying to crack down on this and not allow Elvis impersonators to marry people in Las Vegas. Here is Dick's last resort over here. I guess this is a uh, statue of Dick here. I have never eaten at, at Dick's last resort. Apparently part of the gimmick is they, uh, they insult you, they call you names, they make you wear a stupid hat, they, they treat you rudely, which is, uh, I don't know, I, 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 is this something I should do for my channel? Is this something that is fun? I always feel like when I go into a restaurant and they're mean to me and treat me rudely that it is, uh, that it is not fun, but I don't know, maybe it's, a, maybe it's a different experience here in Dick's. Let me know in the comment section, is, is Dick's, is Dick's last resort, is this, is this any fun? Unfortunately, it looks like the rain is picking back up here on Fremont Street. Oh look, the sky just, it just got dark and starry outside. Oh wait, what's that? Oh, see the big, the big moon right there? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I was certainly not expecting such a soggy day here in Las Vegas. Down here you see Vegas Vic, one of the most iconic neon signs here in Las Vegas. Now uh, part of the Fremont Street experience. And uh, he looks good. Last time I was out here, he was actually turned off. He wasn't lit up. So it's good to see him uh, illuminated. See there, he's even got his, uh, he's even got his little neon wink action there. Uh oh, looks like something is occurring here. Yeah, every so often they'll play uh, play some music with the uh, graphics synced to the music. Yeah, what a what a crazy place the uh, the Fremont Street experience is. And here at the far end of the Fremont Street experience, we have the Carousel Bar out here in front of the Plaza Hotel. Looks like the top part, maybe a dining area inside the hotel with the carousel bar underneath. Yeah, the carousel bar here, you do not ride on horses while uh, drinking at the bar, but they do have some uh, carousel horses here alongside the bar. Yes, the summer carousels. It's officially over, my friends. I'm afraid to even say it, but I think I think the rain may be letting up just a, just a little bit. I admit, I was pretty bummed that it was raining today, but it kind of created a strange and unique experience. See the towering Slotzilla there. Although I, I guess no one wants to, uh, no one wants to zip line in the rain. 
And I did want to walk back down here to Container Park. Looks like all the power's back on. You can see the, uh, the Mantis is uh, lit up here. I don't know if he's spewing fire tonight, but uh, he is illuminated. So sadly, apparently the Mantis does not spew flames in the rain. I guess it's, uh, I don't know, maybe he can't because the rain will uh, put his flames out. So I guess I'll, uh, I'll catch you next time, Mantis. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we can spew some flames uh, next time I'm here. So thank you for joining me here tonight on the on Fremont Street, the craziest street here in Las Vegas. And I think something very crazy happened that I was not expecting, and that is some torrential downpours here in uh, in Las Vegas. Did not did not have that on my Las Vegas bingo card. It's pretty much been raining on and off all day. The, the street is all slick and wet and running with water, but uh, a unique experience uh, nonetheless. Appreciate you guys coming along with me today. If uh, you like this video, please subscribe. I travel around the country, film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. If you like these videos and would uh, like to show some support, uh, consider contributing to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop, as well as personalized messages on Cameo. Uh, all that information is in the description of this video. And all that helps keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag. <laughs>